guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, welcome from Germany, welcome from Brazil, welcome from Ghana, welcome from Argentina. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And actually, I'm really glad to be back because I have had a two year hiatus off of YouTube. So I'm really glad to be back. And today I'm going to be showing you my favorite things in Ghana and the amazing things that happen in Ghana. <laughs> So during my two year hiatus, what I actually have been doing is I've been traveling and I went to Sierra Leone, I went to Ghana and actually went to Ghana twice because I loved it so much and I gained a lot of weight from going there, but it's all happy weight, so it's okay. And um, actually I've been not finding myself, but I've been doing what's easiest for me. And in a way you could call it soft life, but the way that I've defined soft life is to make soft life the most practical life and to make sure that you do things that is easiest for you and for me I had to do that because I just was not balanced at all and now that I'm balanced I'm ready to get back onto YouTube and I'm just ready to create much more meaningful content because I want to create something more valuable and that is worthy of people's attention so here I am. <laughs> but um, yeah so today the rest of the video is going to be about Ghana one of my favorite countries, just like Sierra Leone, just like Nigeria, although I haven't been to Nigeria yet. Shout out to my Nigerian followers. I, but I will be going one day soon. But Ghana has a special place in my heart because it's where like once again, I found what truly made me happy. And one of the things I love about Ghana is that everybody loves to dress up. Now, when it comes to dressing up, I don't mean like with a nice jeans and t-shirt and a nice t-shirt or something. I mean like serious proper kente, serious proper dressing. In the UK, we don't dress properly. We have no style, we have nothing compared to Ghana, even compared to the whole of Africa even, because right now, especially if you look on like Bella Niger, if you look on um, nigerweddingstyle.com, there's so many different websites that can show you the styles that we wear, not just for our weddings and special occasions, but really for like going out to lunch. You know, people wearing um, this one style we have called Mary Makeba, and it's like a long gown and it's very royal looking and it's really beautiful. So um, these are the styles that I love, you know, from Ghana. I love like the off the shoulder, the one style, the ruffles, like all these things are amazing. And I think, um, I think they're really, truly, uh, a significant for our cultural heritage and uh, kente has a lot of cultural history as well because it was first used in the early 11th century and but more prevalently used in Kumasi um, for the Ashanti tribe and more so in the 19th century I believe. So um, another reason why I love Ghana um, well, again, for the kente, you know, the type of styles that we do in here in Europe, not just in England, but here in Europe is very different. In Ghana, well, in Africa, we're more diverse. We can, we were able to, how can I say, tell a story with our outfit. I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it. Because when you look at kente, when you look at the colors, and even if you look closely enough, and if you're skilled enough with the eye, can actually read certain inscriptions in the kente. So that's why I say it tells a story, it tells people who you are. Certain colors, certain patterns, certain designs have a certain significance. Whether they are circles, whether they are crosses or stripes or lines, they all have a certain significance, including the blocks, including um, triangular shapes as well. So they all have their different um, meanings and details behind them. So I think it's really interesting how some certain, well, kente was originally used for royalty in the Ashanti Kingdom. I think it's really interesting how we use fashion and also different types of materials as well to express ourselves and tell people, show people exactly who we are. So um, that's one of, the, my, one of my favorite things about Ghana is the dressing. And it really gave me a lot of fashion inspiration and also designing my own clothes too in Ghana, which was actually a passion that I didn't know I had. So um, yeah, I mean, designing clothes, designing handbags, designing jewelry, you know, it's all um, something that I'm quite exploring right now. So I'm really happy about that. The next thing I, that I love about Ghana is their food. Now, this is one thing that 
I don't even know how to explain, but I gained so much weight from being in Ghana. It's like I was a size six going to size four when I got to Ghana, and now I'm like a size 10. So that's how much like a bolo and banco and tilapia that I've been eating. And we had like endless bowls of like light soup and banku, tilapia and banku. We had uh, a bobitadi, kenke, but like the hot one that you get in Osu. Oh my goodness. Mike, when you taste this, you will never come back to England again because you will want to stay where the best food is. Trust me. Ghanaian food is so delicious, but you have to be careful because you will gain weight very, very quickly, especially with the banku and tilapia. Because once you taste pepper and tilapia with banku, that whole mixture alone, it will just send you to sleep and just make you feel so refreshed, so fulfilled that I don't even, I don't even know how to explain it. One of my favorite foods uh, from the Ewe people is abolo. So abolo is steamed corn and rice. Sometimes they mix it together, sometimes it's not. It really just depends. And one thing I love about it is that you eat it with abobi. So abobi, for people who don't know, for people who are not Ghanaian or who are not African, who don't really understand the names and everything, abobi is like very, very small though, very, very small, but a bit bigger than sardines. Um, and they are very, very nutritious, very healthy full of omegas, all the omegas you could think of. Everything is really, really healthy with this dish. That's my first dish that I love. Another dish that I love is agobitadi, which is, I think, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I think it's similar fish, but with a specific like tomato and pepper stew. So um, this dish, I usually eat it with banku or I eat it with rice, but usually banku, something with like yam and coco yam. So the last dish that I really enjoyed in Ghana, and I think it would be a crime for me not to mention this, is banku and tilapia. Now, let me tell you, I didn't even like banku before I went to Ghana. So after the second time when I got there, it was like something in my mind clicked. It's like something happened in my mind where it's like, I love banku. Where is the banku? You know, and I don't know, I don't know how it happened. I don't know how, I don't know what happened. Maybe it's God, but I really, really enjoyed the banku and tilapia with pepper. And it's like a dish that is um, very comforting. And it's something that really reminds me of home, with, whether it's Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, it reminds me of home. And it's all part of like the um, our healthy, balanced diets that we eat as Africans and um, I'm really happy to be part of such like a rich culture that has these foods available for us because for example in um, Ghana sorry in Nigeria we eat a lot of greens in Ghana they have a lot of ma maize a lot of cornmeal a lot of rice well rice is prevalent everywhere so we have a lot of uh, different variations as to what we eat in different parts of Africa so it's really nice to see that difference and be able to share re relatability from them all. Whether it's Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Kenya, it doesn't matter, all is Africa. So that's like my place. Africa is, is my place, <laughs> especially Ghana, definitely Ghana. I've like, I really want my Ghanaian passport. So then it will be a lot easier to get there. But you know, I have my Sierra Leonean one, so I'll be fine for now, so it'll be good. And then, um, so yeah, those are my favorite foods. And moving on, anyone who visits Ghana will know that Ghana is a very peaceful country. It's a country where you can relax and not worry about family members hassling, hassling you for money or this happening or that happening, things going wrong. It's a peaceful country where things can work where everything can go smoothly and calmly. And of course, it's still Africa, you know, there's good and bad everywhere. But generally, Ghana is one of the most peaceful countries in the continent of Africa. And it's one of my favorite countries, other than Sierra Leone, of course, my home country where my mother is from. You know, apart from that, I love Ghana. And it's a country that, you know, hopefully that I'll be going to every single year. It's a country that I'll take my children to. It's a country that my mom loves. And you know, like my father's told me so much about Ghana and about like Togo, a little bit about Togo as well. So maybe that's why I like the airway food so much, who knows. But in general, I just love Ghanaian culture and I'm just happy to like, us Nigerians, we're only next door, so I'm happy to be your neighbors. 
<laughs> so, um, but yes, so one thing I love is that Ghana, there's truly nowhere like Ghana. And the time that I had there was completely an unforgettable experience, something that I don't think I would ever experience anywhere else. If you like this video, then please comment, subscribe and like and let me know if you like videos like this so then I can create more content based on my trip to Ghana and the other countries I went to during my two-year hiatus. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.